Ducks can die, splat. A duck's opinion. Duck fan! What's up, guys? A Duck Opinion here, and um, yeah, after building that huge house on the next episode, it's time to do some more live stuff. So I have a few people here, a few new guys, a few old guys, and um, one of them left, apparently. But um, I've been brewing a lot of glass. I brewed a lot of glass so I could actually cover up three particular ravines. Now, there's a lot more ravines I need to cover up, and I will say the connections have been very laggy, so it's going to be kind of jumpy here and there, but at least the rain stopped. But yeah, I've been using a lot of glass to cover up three separate ravines. And I'm going to try to show you guys all the stuff that we've uh, been doing tonight. So hopefully it doesn't lag too much. If it lags too bad, my bad. It's the damn connection for Xbox, man. You should see it when it saves. It's so laggy. But there's this little treehouse being made. It's not done, but Headhunter's Tower. Hell, it might actually be done. I don't know. But let's go check it out. Now, it looks like it needs to put maybe some glass in there. Maybe it wants it open. I don't know, but I like it. It's a cool little treehouse he has going on over here. <clears throat> nice little bow, sniping range. That tree needs to get fucked. I hate tree heads, and all I see is tree head, tree head, tree head. <laughs> so, I hope you guys have been having a good week, and um, my week's been getting a little bit better, and it should be like really good by the actual end of the week. I should be getting uh, a small check. And then that'll help me get all the way until February, which I should be getting my main check then. And then I'll be in a lot better mood. But I came in here just because um, he pretty much finished it, you know. He, used to, he made a couple fridges with some dispensers, of which I'm not sure, I guess they're arrows? I don't know. But I know he extended this house, and he did a lot more work on here. Made a really cool bed. Has a little chest beside it. I love checking chests, just seeing the junk they have in here. He's been using shears to get oak leaves. It's really cool, really cool. He made a little patio over here. Little patio. Nice little bench. You can sit there and watch everybody. Um, if you notice, there's more mushrooms. I, I put a lot more mushrooms over here. They're kind of like little guide stones. What's up, runner? They're kind of like little guide stones to help newcomers when they show up. So this is a new house right here. It's being made. It's like a little jail. I don't think uh, <clears throat> a little jail of a little hidden spot, actually. Uh, he's been working on this too much, but he's been working on it a little bit. A lot of people have been building in the beginning lands. Like when we first started, we, we kind of worked up north, but now we've been just, as you see, everyone's besides the one guy is working on these lands over here. So uh, I will go back over and show you the last final details that I did to the house because there was some more things that I did in the house that wasn't fully seen after I finished it. You know, I did some touch-ups. <clears throat> so here's a portal. And uh, I like how they have like a tribute portal. It's kind of cool. So wow, there's a lot of shit over here. I should just grab really quick. How I say grab and replant. They also made this like little Osibian protector house. And they also extended the garden they had over here. Which is pretty cool. I don't think anything else though. They did some more breeding as you can see. They have like little breeding holes. <clears throat> Especially with the pigs, holy shit. Maybe that's what I should have did though. Maybe I should have did some breeding holes instead of the uh, actually making the huge ass like um, fences that I did. Because <clears throat> those fences can definitely be uh, be a pain in the ass to grow. Now just a little hint, if you come to my world, just do me a favor and don't do what this guy did. Don't like, I mean, if you know, you're watching this and you did this, that's cool. It's I'm not pissed at you. Just don't take down half a mushroom. It looks extremely tacky. I mean, someone took like one piece off that. But it's just, I don't want like half a mushroom hanging. That's just as bad as a tree head, you know? If you're going to take down a mushroom and at least half of it, you know, and tear up its stem and tear up its like build, then at least be sure to tear it all down. You know what I mean? So we have a couple more new houses I do want to show you guys. But, you know, not a lot of stuff has been built. I'm just trying to get this stuff that's new kind of covered before I forget and, and uh, you know, doing it live. So I'm really just chilling here. I don't really have anything better to do. So let's head um, let's head away from this. I don't even know what to call it, but I call it like Mushroom Town, but I'm kind of like extending that vibe. And I sort of plant all, all these mushrooms. But like I said, they're kind of like a walk 
a walk guideline to get you kind of like through this stuff. Now, did I show off this big water thing? I forgot if I showed it off, so I'm gonna have to show it off now. But there's a lot of sugarcane over here that I um I took off myself. I took the sugarcane and just watched it plant and like filled up the entire the entire lake with it. And then here is another one of the glass areas that I covered, you know, the ravines with. Been a lot of deaths, but you can still get in them through the water. And you can still get out of them through the water. And it's just, it's just safer. The other one I did was over here, which we'll go show you guys. And uh, I don't think there's been too much work over here. There's been one new house that I will show you guys since we're going to go over here. But besides that, there hasn't been too much more new stuff over in the starting lands. But I decided to cover this ravine. This ravine is one of the first ones that I did. But um, those are the only three ravines I covered. I've been doing a lot of sand, like uh, melting it. And it's just, these, these ravines cost a lot. They cost maybe three to maybe even six stacks, depending on which ravine it is. Like that one didn't take as bad much. But the first one I showed you at the very start of this video, that one took some time. That one took probably like four or five stacks worth of glass. And that stuff's hard to do. Like you have to go. I had to go to the corner where that, that biome is with the um, desert. And I took like a, I took like stuff like Unbreakable. I had an Unbreakable 2 and an Efficiency 2 on my shovel. And I took that one plus another shovel and just went at it and got like eight stacks and just melted all that shit down. And I still had to go get like eight more stacks just to fill in all three of those and still have some stuff left over. So I don't even know where I'm going. This is the wrong way. But I also did some repairing like in areas like where big old creeper holes were in areas like this were jump over that but right here is where another new house is that i can show you guys off and then we'll circle back around to my pad and show you the other new stuff this is made by zoom killer with some cool little chairs outside you come inside and uh he got his tv done it's so funny he was looking for black wool for such a long time and then did he seriously just place yeah, the black wool's still there, but then he seriously just placed a painting. You could have just put up wood and then put the paintings there if you weren't going to use it. I swear, he looked forever for the black wool, and I came like put one piece in there and just didn't tell him. Just kind of trolling him a little bit. <laughs> so hopefully he sees that and he laughs about it. But, <clears throat> looking good. I like the new little house there. I like watching him build it, and I was like, yeah, over here in the fuck area. So that's like the fuck town, and then you got the mushroom town. But there's a couple more things I want to show you guys. Let me get a bite to eat. My apples. I don't even eat apples that much, but when I work my ass off in a tree taking stuff down, like actually have been, I had to get wood for bookshelves. But when I bust mass in them trees, I definitely like to make sure I get it done. But a buddy came over and started making this. I think this is a, it's a really amazing thing to actually just see. It doesn't have much in it. I think it's just like a wannabe mob spawner at the top here. But when you actually just see it, it looks pretty it looks pretty cool from a distance but uh, he's still working on it. I guess he's gonna do some ice not ice but some glass stuff and we'll see what he does but this thing looks really beast just from like a distance he didn't really <clears throat> the maker of it didn't really like it at first but he needs to put a sign over here cuz like I remember who did it but I don't wanna get the name wrong but I think it's a really beast thing like from a distance that looks amazing like a little bite to eat. See what I mean? It looks really awesome. So we're going to do a quick save and then we're going to end this video by going and showing you the last final things. I might make this a little bit longer because I do have a few other things I want to show you specifically. And uh, there's at least about four more houses. So <laughs> I'll make this video a little bit longer because it's not enough to really make another video. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have been having a good week. Like I said, mine's been going all right. Good things are about to happen. And I'm about to be caught back up on my feet. And that's good. Now I want to keep working hard and keep just doing what I'm doing here with my videos and entertain you guys. It's actually been a very bad month. Like my views has been down like 70%. And yeah, it sucks, but there's not much more I can do about it besides just keep pushing. My subscriber base keeps growing. I don't know. I just got to keep pushing it. So um, here's all the stuff I wanted to show you. We'll do my house last. But my buddy over here finished this house he was working on, which looks amazing. It is Zoom Killer which is his, this was his first house, and we saw his second house. We saw, kind of saw it in like 
reverse order, but doesn't matter. So he has a lot of random stuff. He has some, some lapis. I wouldn't mind taking that for myself. <laughs> a little fireplace, which I like. I like the fireplace. He looked like he went out of his way to make sure it wouldn't catch his house on fire. And that's important. So let's go upstairs. And he has a, ooh, he has fences on his bed. Nice. I like that. That's something Miss Harley, Harley would like on our real bed one day. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I like this little house, you know. Made of the, some of the white wood as well to add some flavor to it. It looks nice. Uh, speaking of flavor, um, this next little house over here that I'm about to show you, this really has some good flavor to it. Um, especially on the flooring. This was just recently made. And, of course, they didn't put a sign on it or, hell, any more torches for that matter. But you guys really need to start putting signs on what you guys make. So when I come to record like I'm doing now, I won't just be like, who made this? But as you can see, when you come into it, it has, like, really cool floor decorations. I like how I use the table as a floor. And I don't think he did much upstairs. Yeah, he, he's just, no. He came in here for like a second and built this. And I think he bailed out, had to go or something. But he's still on my friends list. He can come back and do W-O-R-K. God, I'm really nervous. Like, this bow is like really awesome, but it's almost about to break. So I'm just like, fuck, don't want this bow to break. So the two, well, the three last remaining houses I want to show you. And this kind of extended episode with Zoom Killer already made a third house. A crap load of chests. I don't even want to check them, but he just made a third house. So yeah, he came on here and actually did work. I like when people come over here and just actually do work. It looks sick. So uh, this was made by Wilford. He's one of my normal builders. And uh, this was really cool. It was like he started off as a treehouse yesterday, but then he extended it into this really kind of epic treehouse, which I don't want to step out there. I will die. But I like this little treehouse. It's sick. I mean, well, it's not a treehouse anymore. It's like just a house in the sky. But... It's a nice little hidden spot right there. But he did a good job. There's even like a little entrance in and out of it, which I can appreciate. So, the last thing in this extended video I want to show you is the house that we made in like the last six parts. Now, like I said, I extended it with mushrooms. I put all these mushrooms around and I put like a whole forest over here. Like I did an extensive with the trees just because, you know, every time that I go and get a crap load of wood, I always like give back to the spot that I get it at and this is the spot. I also have six mushrooms I'm probably going to plant somewhere as well. This little house is made by uh, the Diamant Boss. It's kind of just a tiny little shack of like a little chair and that's really it. But they're still working on here. We got people still just going at it. They're just working. They're just building. They're just getting supplies. And uh, like I said, you know, in this extended episode I want to show you the house that we made. So the duck, my baby duck's still there, and um, I put iron blocks on both sides to kind of be fancy. You come in, I put like uh, some, um, what do they call those things, some uh, bookshelves. Now this is all my block stuff, and it's almost getting damn full, but you know, I got tons of stone. There's the wood I collected, some nether racks, some dirt. I had more dirt than that, but I spent it. A lot of cobblestone. These are my breweries that I make and I always have stuff in here. I'm always cooking stuff. These are just my, hey, my stuff's about to break, so I need backups. And, uh, oh my god, I hate when people spam shit like that. Ball in Varantar, you need to not do that again. Let all that shit go away. Let me get in my relaxing pool and wait for that to go away. And this right here is my pool. This is my jacuzzi. I'm here to relax, and then I come here to also do brewing sometimes. I have my brewing stand. And I moved, I had two uh, tables, and I moved it from my old house into here, and I kept the main one for anyone to use over there. So, not too much was done. I just know, I, like I said, I've been doing a lot of glass, a lot of glass, been covering up a lot of holes, been getting a lot of coal, and um, a lot of bookshelves. These are a lot of bookshelves, a lot of brick, too. So, a lot of kind of rarer items go in that chest, and these are all like the basics. And then in this chest is like food. And really, really random stuff. And then over here is just like completely random junk. Just like, well, I mean, it's not really junk, but you know, come on, door. Just like the randomest of random. I should probably take that sword and not have that chill in there. Maybe, maybe have that sword in here. It's a bad thing to just have, just chilling. And so, um, I, I think we've already seen all the rest. I came up here and put some bookshelves. That was no big deal. 
I actually got a music disc from a creeper. I actually had a skeleton kill a creeper, and it's called Maul. And um, you guys can probably just look it up and hear it, but I love Maul. It's like one of my favorite tracks. It's really cool, but um, I'm not going to end the video there. I have one more thing to show you for this 15 minute long video, and it's up here. Now, we got all this done. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it. I, um, on the, this part, I did put all, I put the white snow as the flooring to that and put some windows in there and then put the upside down crosses pretty much everywhere. Like, I put the upside down cross there. We have this middle piece that's open. I put upside down crosses on each side so you know you guys know it's mine and right here the final thing you guys we have a new dust can fly jump right down there so i hope you guys had a good time checking out the new stuff in duck craft 5.0 we checked it out live as my builders are still in here building and uh, that's pretty much everything i might have missed a place here or there but stuff is getting built while we talk and i will show you guys more live stuff in the next video so you guys on the count of three do it with me if you're true ducklings so we'll in this video one two three ducks can fly splat thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i will talk to you guys later peace